Hey guys, and today I have a video ranting against dress code policies. Now, I don't like the dress code policies, and they're really annoying. Really. And, um, basically I'll read it to you guys, and it basically makes me not it makes it harder to dress up in the morning. It's really ridiculous. Um, some of this stuff is just way too ridiculous. I just can't get over how ridiculous it is. Um, and it makes me not self-confident. Um, and I really hate it. And so let's just get started on dress code. So it says the I'm not going to say what school I go to. Um, standards of dress code and grooming have been created to provide students with the opportunity to choose clothing that helps support a positive learning environment. The goal of the dress standards is to offer students choice of dress, as well as to make sure students wear clothing that is appropriate, functional, and does not cause distraction. Okay, so... What would this be distracting? Literally, none of my friends care what I wear, and it will not distract me in any way. Like, I'm not... Elementary school people are so, so lucky, because they get to wear whatever they want except for tank tops that are spaghetti straps. And it's so annoying, because it didn't distract me when I was in um, elementary school. Sorry. Sorry to disappoint you. And then clothing. Number one. Pants or shorts that are excessively large at the waist, hang down farness, cause a hazard while walking or running, are split, frayed, or excessively baggy, should not be worn to school. Now, I kind of understand that because, like, guys tend to wear things that go all the way down and they show their undergarments, which is really stupid and not attractive but frayed what's wrong with it being frayed at the freaking edges it's not going to do anything to learning environment like all of my shorts are frayed I'm even going to go get one of my shorts and it's not going to be frayed and it's going to be frayed and it won't do anything I cannot find any frayed shorts at the moment, because, well, anyways, that annoys me, because things that are frayed are in style now, and most shorts that you find aren't not frayed, which is really annoying, so, pants Okay, so, and then pants and other clothing must be worn at a level that avoids the exposing of our undergarments or skin. So I understand the undergarments part because you don't want to see underwear, but what do they mean by skin? I think they mean like showing like a butt cheek and I really understand that because that's super unattractive. No offense to people that like that. I don't like that. I think it looks really weird and... No. Um, clothing that is skin tight or sheer or revealing is not appropriate for students who are at school. Skin tight. What's wrong with freaking skin tight clothing? I wear it all the time. What is it going to do? I don't understand it. I honestly hate it and I don't understand it. Um... Sheer. Okay, first of all, when I went to school, um, you're not allowed to wear tank tops. And this one teacher was wearing a um, tank top that was, by the way, almost spaghetti straps. 
and a sheer shirt over it. Okay, so they are not enforcing the dress code, because if we have to enforce the dress code, it wouldn't be fair if the teachers didn't enforce the dress code, and it's totally not fair. And I actually overheard, because I have a study all because of my broken thumb for PE, um, that same teacher talking about, oh, Mrs. Allen, which is my, um, McCall, uh, which, which is my teacher, was like, uh, she said, oh my god, Miss Allen is making us enforce the dress code because it's a good influence on the students. And it's like, and she's like, oh my god, it's going to be so hot this week too, because I live in California, and it's going to be so hot. Okay, how do you think we feel? Are you freaking serious right now? Because we can't wear anything. Anything! And I'm sorry about my mascara if it's, like, showing under. Um, not the point. So, if you guys think that's unfair, leave a comment down below. I also always see teachers wear things that are dress code, and it's so annoying. Because when they wear things that are dress code, it's not helping. Not helping. Okay, next. Um, pants or shorts must stay up without a belt. Okay. It says pants and shorts must stay up without a belt. Okay, why can't we wear belts? That doesn't make any sense. What's wrong with belts? It's not going to show anything. It just keeps our pants up annoying and it doesn't make any sense at all really no sense and must fit at the waist without alternation all shorts and skirts must have a three inch a minimum of three inch inching now when I first went to middle school that really annoyed me because most shorts weren't like that but actually it's actually really understandable because like I said I don't like it when the butt cheek shows it's not attractive at all it's really annoying, and yeah. Blouses and skirts should cover a student's stomach and should not expose back or midriff. I don't understand what the exposing of the back is, what's wrong with that, because you're just exposing your back. Literally, you're not exposing anything when you're exposing your back. Like, I understand the midriff. Actually, I don't understand it that much, because it's just like like your belly button like I, I actually understand that the back the back and midriff like not the back part because what's wrong with showing like a little bit of back like I understand if it's like your entire back because that looks really weird and but if it's just a little bit I mean what is that going to do and then low cut blouses tube tops sleeveless t-shirts, bandeau, and tank tops are not appropriate for students at school. Tank tops? I understand all the other ones, but tank tops. Tank tops! That's really annoying. Because w it gets really hot here in California, and if you're not allowed to wear tank tops, it's really mean, because actually I see all the supervisors and most of the teachers wearing tank tops, and we're not allowed to wear tank tops. And I understand some tank tops that are, like, way too short, like that or like that, but at least let us wear some form of tank tops, like, even if it's like that. Just let us wear a tank top, because you know how freaking hot it gets? I hate the tank top thing. The tank top thing is my most irritation about it. Don't like it. Um, sorry, this is my binder. Spaghetti strap garments are not allowed. That's true, because spaghetti straps are like undershirts. Uh, dresses, skirts, and shorts must be of an appropriate length to avoid exposing undergarments or creating a distractive. Undergarments, outer garments must, con must conceal undergarments. Now, if it's showing your bandeau or your sports bra, 
I don't understand what's wrong with that, showing your bandeau or sports bra, because it's like nothing. Literally, it's like nothing. Because, like, if you have a shirt that is low cut and it shows your bandeau or your sports bra, I don't understand what's so bad about that. I mean, all you're seeing is, like, that much skin. But that I can deal with, because all you have to wear is, like, a tank top under it. Um, clothing that has appearance of being lingiery. I don't know what that word is. Some of these words I also don't understand, because it is true that if you don't understand the word, sorry if we misinterpret it, it's not our fault that we put foreign words in here. I mean, seriously. Literally. It says, uh, where am I? L-I-N-G-E-R-I-E. And, or pajamas are not appropriate at school. Okay, pajamas. Yeah, pajamas. Who wouldn't? Appropriate undergarments must be warm. Are you serious? Okay, first it says that you can't see the undergarments, which, that's fine. But, appropriate undergarments? They seriously want you to wear appropriate undergarments. Okay, if you're not allowed to see them, nobody's seeing your undergarments. It's fine to wear whatever you want. Like, I kind of get it for PE because nobody wants to see where... Like, I understand a thong. That's pretty nasty. But the only reason why girls wear thongs is either to be slut or so you can't see the lines of their underwear. overall that are oversized do not fit the waist or have tops slash straps hanging down are not permitted. I don't understand this because it says if you're wearing overalls so Let's say I'm wearing overalls, like the clip-on ones, or if they're hanging down. What is wrong with them hanging down? It's not doing anything. It's not, let's say you're wearing all dress code, and then your overalls are hanging down. It's not going to show any more skin. In, in fact, it's going to show less skin. Which is stupid, because... Okay, next. Uh, bondage type pants may not have straps hanging down. No clothing can be worn with inappropriate words or designs. Understandable. Because, yeah, people who wear that just... Well, I actually understand some of them, like, um... There's one that my friend is wearing, and it says, uh, cancer. It says F word, and then cancer. I don't want to say it on YouTube. Um, and, yeah. But I really, if I were in high school, I'd be like, yeah. <laughs> um, any type of clothing or accessory is not, that is deemed unsafe, disrupts the learning environment, advertises, or advocates alcohol, smoking, drugs, and gangs, profanity, weapons, violence, illegal activities, degrades, cultures, genders, races, religions, or ethnic values may not be worn at school anytime. Understandable. Torn and or shredded clothing may not be worn. Annoying. Okay, um... So that's it for the dress code. Oh yeah, and you can't wear hats. Which? Oh yeah, and body piercing, tongue, studs, rings, eyebrow studs, rings, lip rings, 
uh, no studs rings glass rings may not be worn. So that's it for the dress code. I hate it, especially the tank top part. Um, but you can wear like cap sleeves. Annoying. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you hate dress code. And, um, also, I want to do a video about me singing. Because I have, I'm in choir, and I want you guys to know if, I, I mean, I want your opinion on how I sing. Because I haven't passed any of my auditions for singing, and nobody has really told me if I was a good singer or not, unless they were being nice. Well, at least I think I'm, they're just trying to be nice. So, thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below if you hate dress code. And what you guys have for dress code that you hate. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye.